What can we as educators do to help students become better thinkers? One might assume that a good place to start is to teach thinking skills, but is teaching skills enough? We often miss opportunities to use the skills we have simply by not noticing times when they might be useful. Good thinkers not only know how to think creatively, critically, and deeply, they actually do it. They have a repertoire of thinking moves to draw on, they're inclined to use them, and they're sensitive to the times when thinking would be helpful. In other words, they're in the habit of observing, analyzing, and questioning. So can we teach this? Researcher educators at Project Zero have been exploring this question for many years and think the answer is yes. The thinking routines they have developed as part of their research invite learners of any age to be close observers, to organize their ideas, to reason carefully, and to reflect on how they're making sense of things. These routines are flexible enough to be used to engage learners with any artifact, system, or concept, including their own thought processes. Thinking routines are simple structures, for example, a set of questions or a short sequence of steps that can be used alone or with a group. They are designed to be easy to remember, practical, and to invite a broad range of thinking moves. They are well suited to leverage the power of collaborative thinking and transfer easily to any context. You can use them without training or prior experience, figuring out how they work along with your students just by using them. Thinking routines help students go beyond the superficial, inviting them to dig deeper by making the complex accessible. Through practice, learners become sensitive to opportunities to use their thinking moves in the wild helping them to develop habits of mind that will sustain their curiosity inside and outside the classroom. Given the broad range of thinking routines available, it might be tempting to try out as many routines as possible, but this approach can turn them into mere strategies, subverting a core aspect of their design that they get used over and over again. Choosing one core thinking routine, for instance, see, think, wonder, and trying it out in as many contexts as possible is more likely to reveal the ways thinking routines can support individuals in developing habits of thinking and groups in developing a culture of thinking together. Once you and your students get comfortable with the idea of using a routine for structuring your thinking, it's easier to branch out and find routines that fit well with the kind of thinking you'd like to invite. For instance, asking deep questions, making connections, coming up with explanations, challenging those explanations, and exploring alternative perspectives. Thinking routines might at first seem too simple, but it is their simplicity that makes them easy to remember and to use. Rather than simplifying ideas, thinking routines offer straightforward ways to sustain learners in their inquiry into complex problem spaces. While it does take time, using thinking routines in your classroom cultivates a community of thinkers with a culture of thinking, supporting learners in becoming intentional in their shared pursuit of deep understanding. <laughs>